Hello viewers, today I'm going to teach you together with my learners how to make this beautiful dress that can be worn by a baby with zero to seven months. Now when doing this work, we will need a hundred percent a claret yarn. Of course, the small size meant for making baby clothes. We will also need a hook which is 4 millimeters in size. We will need some scissors and we will need some hooks. Uh, four in number, I have misplaced one, but we will, stay, we will need four to do the work. We will also need this safety pin to act as a hook for inserting this lace here which is playing the role of the button. Remember, I have not used the button. I like using laces because most of the time you realize the babies may play around with the button when they are not worn their dress and they may swell it. So I like using the lace. So uh, welcome to this tutorial and kindly make sure that you teach your learners how to do the same because it is not taking even long time to make just undress. So welcome to my tutorial and kindly do subscribe to my channel and help me share it. Thank you for listening to me. We will start our project by making a slip knot bring it to size so that it is not exaggerated then from there you chain 106 chains so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Continue and make 106, then we will make. Okay, we've already made 106 chains. Now we are going to chain three more. One, two, three chain three more and then put our first uh, double crochet at chain four so we have one two three four put your first in double crochet at chain four so when you do that you chain one and skip one go to the next stitch put a double crochet so this is what we have now continue putting double crochet in every stitch until we approach the last three. The last three chains, that is where we are going to change slightly. Okay. This is what we have, so continue working. Okay, we've approached the end of the round, so we are going to chain one. Then we put double crochet in each of the two remaining stitches. So that is what we have. Sorry, we have chained the two. We are going to repeat our work. So chain one, put and double crochet, skip one, put and double crochet in the next stitch, another double crochet in the next stitch, then chain one, turn your work and put a single crochet in the next stitch, chain one, jump to the main body and continue putting double single crochet single crochet in every stitch single crochet in every stitch until we approach the end of the round so continue with the single crochet 
until we get to the end of this round or approach the end of the round. This is what you are getting, so continue working. Okay, we've arrived at the end of the round, so we are going to chain one, then pass to this stitch and put a single crochet and also another single crochet on the chain that we made beside here. Then we chain three and turn our work. Put a double crochet on this stitch which is here. Then chain one. Okay, we have now made the two stitches here. Then what we are going to do is we will chain one. Then after chaining one, we be sure it is one, don't chain two. So you just chain one, then skip to the main bond here. Put the first in double crochet. After you have skipped, you can see we have a gap. Then from there, the second stitch you will get two double crochet together because we are increasing this part of the yoke. Then chain one in the next stitch. So we have four on top of three stitches. So then we chain one and skip this stitch here. Hold this, put a double crochet. Then in the next following, put it on double crochet together. Then the next stitch, put on double crochet, chain one, skip one, go to this next, put on double crochet. So this is what we are getting, and we will continue working that way. So the second one here, get it on double crochet. Remember, we are growing the yoke. Then after that, you put another one, the next stitch. So you have a pair of four, chain one, skip one, go to the next, put a double crochet. The second one should receive two double crochet together in the same space. Then to make them four, move to the next stitch and have a double crochet. So you have four, chain one, skip one, go to the next, put a double crochet, then two together in the following stitch. And to make them four, move to the other stitch and put a double crochet. This is what you get. So continue working that way until we approach the end of the round. Okay, we, chain, we will have approached the end of the round, so we are going to chain one, then skip this chain, put a double crochet in this is, uh, single crochet here, then another double crochet on the chain which is here, then we chain one and turn our work, put a single crochet, in the next stitch, chain one, then continue putting double crochet, three single crochet until we arrive at the end of the round. So continue putting single crochet where you meet the chain, you put a chain there, you respect the chain until it is the end of the round. So any place you meet a chain, Respect the chain by chaining one. We have chain one and skip to the other cluster here. So continue working. Okay, if I press the end of the round, we chain one and continue putting single crochet in the remaining stitches. Then from there, we chain three. Turn our work, put a double crochet in this stitch which is here, single crochet that we made, then chain one, go to the main body and continue putting double crochet in every stitch. However, where you meet the chain, you respect it and put a chain. 
So we have one more. Then from there we have the chain here, we chain one and escape to the other group of four. Once we make a group of four, we make a chain and then let's go to the other group. We chain one and they jump to this other group of here. So continue with this pattern until the end of the round. This is what we are getting, so continue working. We have approached the end of the round, so we are going to chain one and then Put a double crochet in this stitch which is here. Another double crochet in the last stitch here. Then from there we chain one, turn our work, put a single crochet, chain one, skip to this area and continue with a round of double crochet. After this round of double, sorry, single crochet, you come back with another round of, we finish this round, then we come increasing here instead of five, we will be having a double crochet of, of five in the pair. So let's do the two rows. Okay, now I've completed the round. We are going to turn. And this is the round where we will be putting double crochet and increasing. So we chain one, two, three, then put a double crochet in this stitch. There is a chain here, so we chain one and then skip to the group. And we will continue working double crochet, but we will increase at chain three. So we increase here at chain three. We, sh we should have five here because this is four. Then here we have five. So we chain one and escape to the other group and they continue the sequence, continue working. Okay, this is how far we have gone. So I want you to continue with the remaining rounds where you will be doing a round of double crochet, the sorry, single crochet, this round of single crochet. And after you do that, you go back and make a round of uh, double crochet where you will be increasing. Any time we are doing a row, oh, sorry, we finish this one, we make an a row of double crochet without increasing, then we make a, a row of single double crochet and the next round now is increasing. So here I have finished the round. I'm going we are now going to do a round of a single crochet. So we chain one, I've already chained one, then you come here, you put a single crochet, then a chain, you skip to the main body and continue with a single uh, single crochet until the end of the round till the end of the round so continue working okay so we have increased the round now we have attained one two three we are in we, we have attained seven so we will be putting again i repeat a row of single crochet then in the second row is double crochet where we increase at every set we do the increase so continue working and go two rounds okay we have finished making the yoke of the dress i have made 11 rounds in total and i was only increasing where or in the round where 
I was putting the double crochet and in the rounds where we were putting the single crochet we were not increasing so we are about to do the arm openings of our dress so that we can continue making the rest of the dress uh, for only or in a creation we have 26 blocks in total and the the arms part or the arms opening has taken the lion share that is seven then the back this is the back this is the front and the back has taken six blocks these are the blocks and the front has taken six blocks while the two arms one has taken seven the other one seven now when you come here because our work is independent in at the back we have three blocks on this side okay we have two and a half and this sorry we have three and three here and we are going to create another block over here by chaining three chains to add to this two and this two so that our work will be uh, balanced so we will start working so we will start working we will chain three to create another block so two three then we join our work with a slip stitch at this chain here and then the chain chain one then we have joined our work so this is the back we cut the yarn because we cannot start working in the corner uh, of the dress we have to look for the center so the center here is on this second chain remember here we have three chains so the second chain is where we have the the center we make a slip knot Then pull through our slip knot and after that we have to do chain three one two three so we chain three then from there we start put a double crochet where we have put the chain Then we put a, we continue working, putting double crochet in every stitch. And the way we have the gap, the, the, the chain, we respect this part by chaining. Okay, when we reach where we have the chain, we have to respect it by putting a chain there. Then we move on, putting a wonderful crochet, respecting every chain until we get where we have the mark. Continue working until you get where we have the mark that you have to obey the chain. Here you chain one and then skip to the other block and continue working. Okay, we have reached where we have our first mark. So what we are going to do is we put our double crochet then remove the mark after removing the mark you chain six one two three four five six then you skip the area of the ham hole and then go to the other part where we have the mark Remove the mark but don't lose the contact and put a double crochet 
and this is Jen. Where the mark was. Okay. Move slowly and the visual of what we're doing. So there we have. We have created our first handball. So we move. We continue putting double crochet. And as we put our double crochet, remember to put a chain where you find it like this one. Then move and continue working. So continue and I'll meet you at the other area where we have the other mark. Then we create our second arm hole. Okay, we have arrived to the other part with the area where we have the mark. So we are going to create the second arm hole. We put a wonderful crochet here. Then we spin six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we skip this area. We are not going to continue that way. We will go straight to where we have our mark. Remove the mark and put a double crochet. Continue putting a double crochet. On every stitch until we get to the finishing of our work. We have finished the round. Now we are going to join our work with a slip stitch on top of the double crochet and not this chain. So we put a slip stitch here and then we chain three, one, two, three, and put a double crochet right where we have the chain. Then from there we proceed putting another round of double crochet. So continue working until we get to where we have the chain. This we need a chain of six. Remember to respect the, the chain once you come across it, just chain one and move on. Sorry. Just chain one and move on. Okay, we first where we made the chain six chains, so we are going to put a double crochet in every chain. So we have one, two, three. Remember not to twist. We have four. Then we have five. Then we have six. We have six, so this is our handful. Then we proceed with our double crochet until we reach the other. Um, opening, um, opening, chain one, continue working until we reach the end of the of the other part. 
Okay. This is the other ham hole. So we are going to put six and double crochet for every stitch, every chain will receive and double crochet. Three, then four, five, six. Then we proceed until we get to where we start the end of our work and we put a slip stitch. So this is the other second arm of our dress. So we are going to close the gap or to join our work now. And we are joining on top of the double crochet and not the chain. So that is how it looks like. Then we chain three and we put on double crochet right where we have the chain. And then proceed working. This time there will be a slight change. We are not going to respect any chain. Instead, we will put on double crochet where we have the chain. So this is our first chain. So what we do is we put on double crochet in that chain and have a continuous double crochet row. So continue working and we are doing only one round. You can see I'm not put respecting the chain anymore. Okay, we have closed our work with a slip stitch. Now this is what we are going to do for this round. You count one, two, three, and in the third stitch we put six in double crochet in the same same space. So we have one, two. Three, four, five, six. Now we move on. We count one, two. In the band stitch, we put a single crochet. So check what we have. Then we move again, we count again, one, two, three, so we start our the second cluster here, a cluster of six, and create a pan, two, three, four, five, Six. So confirm we yeah, have there six. Then we move one, two, and in the third place we put a single crochet. Then we continue one, two, three, put a cluster of six here. Three, four, five, six. Then you move one, two, three, put a single crochet, and this is what we are getting. So continue working until the end of the round. Okay, we've approached to the end of the round. This is how our work looks like. And uh, I'm left with the two stitches here. 
I'm left with the one, two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a double crochet, two double crochet, or you can even put three. There is no harm. They will not affect anything. Then from there, you the other one you put a single crochet, the other stitch you put a single crochet, and then from there we start putting our double crochet in our work throughout the round. So you can see what I'm doing. We are going to put a double crochet on top of every stitch in the cluster, and when we arrive to where we put a single crochet, we just skip that area, don't hand a stitch there. So this is the area where we put our single crochet, we are going to skip and then go to the next cluster. And once we skip, our work will have a gap, which is okay, it's part of the decoration. So we continue putting double crochet on top of every stitch in this pan or the cluster. So here we come again, we have the single crochet, so we are going to skip it and put our double crochet on top of the first stitch of the cluster. So continue working until the end of the round and this is what we get. So keep on working. Okay, we are going to join our work with a slip stitch now and continue another round of ring double crochet. So we put our slip stitch here, then we chain three, put a double crochet right where we have the chain and then proceed with another row of double crochet until the end of the round. So continue working, we are going to meet after you have completed the round. Okay, I have made two rounds. So what we are going to do is we will join our work with a slip knot. Then from there we chain one, two, three. Then we put our front post on this chain here. Then from there we move to the, we skip this stitch, we go to the next, put our front post, double crochet, sorry, a top double crochet, then a front post. And this is the pattern we are going to deal with, skipping one, then in the next we put a top double crochet and a front post until we finish this round. So continue working until the end of the round. Okay, we have finished the round. Now we are going to take a round of ring double crochet and we, uh, we have divided the work into four, uh, into four quarter, one, two, three, four. So wherever you meet the pin, uh, here we have uh, uh, this, uh, this side is equal, I've divided it into two, and this other side is equal, I've divided it into two. So where you meet the mark, you put three double crochet together. And remember, this round we are going to do just a free, a round of three double crochet. So you chain one, two, two, three, and the chain is counting. The chain is counting, so where you meet, at uh, the, the mark, you put the three double crochet together so that we can grow the skirt. We can grow the skirt or make the skater dress. So we have three there, that is our increase. Then we move on until we go to the corner where we have the other mark. And when we meet the mark, three stitches. We have arrived it to where we have the other mark. We remove it and put three 
double crochet together so you continue working till the end of the round So we are going to join our work at the slip uh, at the top of the chain. Then we repeat this round. Uh, we've been doing that round, and after the round, we do hand uh, a three and double crochet with the increase. So I've chained three. Then you uh, a chain is counting as a stitch. So you come here and put your front post double crochet then skip this go to the next put a top and double crochet then a front post double crochet and like that and tip the end of the round that's the way we did the land row below so continue working so if we connect our work with the chain here, the band chain, then chain three, and we'll be taking a round of three double crochet. Remember the chain is counting as a stitch, so you just take a round of three double crochet and don't increase anywhere until we finish this round and we repeat this pattern. So finish the round and repeat this pattern. This is how our work looks like. I finished the round that I told you to make. So you can see I have returned the corner markers and also the front. I have front marker and here at the back. So we are going to do the increase. This is the row of the increase and have the and joining our work, we chain three, then we move, we put three in double crochet in this stitch. So we have two, we have three. Then we move on with the three in double crochet, and whenever we meet the mark in that stitch, we put three in double crochet together so that we can. We increase the width of the skirt of the dress then after finishing this round you repeat the pattern this pattern here so continue working okay we have made three rounds for alternating both the pattern and the free double crochet now we are about to make a round of free double crochet and we are going to do some more increase just like you are doing you can see I have marked the area where we are going to do the increase. So we move on and I have already chained three. So we just continue putting double crochet. Once you meet the area, the mark, you put three double crochet in the same space. The chain is counting. So we have two, three, continue until you meet the mark. So we have met the mark, we just remove it and put it in double crochet in its place. One, two, three, then we move on until we meet another mark. That is where you are going to do the next increase. So when you meet the markers, kindly do increase, and after finishing, you go three rounds, uh, alternating double crochet and free double crochet. Okay, this is how far we have gone in our dress making. So we are going to uh, close our work with a slip stitch here, and then we change the pattern slightly, 
we put a slip stitch on the chain and not on the double crochet so the last stitch the last chain here we put uh, then we chain one from there we skip one two and in the land one we put seven double crochet together so we have two three four five six seven after putting seven we skip one two and in the land one we put a single crochet then we continue one two the land one we repeat the class again we put seven together two three four five six seven so continue and finish one okay we have one two three continue and finish the round this is what we are getting so continue and finish this round okay we've completed the round this is how our work looks sorry we have closed the end of the round so i am going to complete and show you what to do so you, as usual you skip one two in the land one you put the cluster of seven one two three four five six seven then from there you put a slip stitch at this chain here once you put a slip stitch you move up you move inside your work to on top of this stitch here and you put a slip stitch then chain three after chaining three continue putting double crochet on top of every stitch okay and do not deal with or put a stitch on this uh, single crochet that we made here just skip to the the work and start putting your double crochet on the top of every cluster and you proceed until the end of the round So continue working, you meet at the end of the round. We've approached the end of the round, so we are going to close our work with a slip stitch on top of the, uh, the double crochet and not the chain. So once you put your slip stitch there, chain one, then from there you count one two sorry you continue putting a single crochet on the stitches until you raise the you approach the, the gap which is here so three stitches to the gap you don't put the single crochet what you do is you put a cluster of six in this gap here so one two three 
Now you move, count one, two, three, put a single crochet, and then if you have approached the cup again, so one, two, in the cup you put the cluster again. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Now, once you put the six, you count one, two in the land space. You put your single crochet, and then you have you go again. Count one, two to the space. This is here on top of the space. You put the cluster. Two, three, four. Five, six. Make sure you have six, not more than that, and not less. Then you count one, two, the land one, you put your single crochet. Then count again, one, two, the land space, you put the cluster again. One, two, three. Four, five, six. So you count one, two, the land one you put the single crochet, and then you are going to put the cluster here. So this is what we get. We continue working until the end of the round. Okay, we approached towards the end of the round. So we are going to do to make a slip stitch. Make a slip stitch on this class the uh, chain here. After you make a slip stitch, you move another slip stitch inside so that you can be on the top of the first stitch of the cluster, then chain three. And continue putting double crochet on top of every stitch till the end of this round. Do not deal with the double or single crochet that we did earlier. Just skip over to the cluster and deal with or put a stitch on top of the double crochet of the cluster and then you proceed so this is what we are getting continue working Okay, we are going to close the round with a slip stitch at the band chain here. Then from there we put a slip, uh, slip stitch until, sorry, slip stitch at the band chain. Then we move with the slip stitch at foot one, two, three. So we have three chains to this gap, we have three stitches to this gap, and this is where we want to repeat the row of cluster, this row. So you just come here and you put, this time there will be a slight different, you put three, then from there you chain one, and then you put three more, so that you will have a cluster of six but separated by a chain at the center so that is what we have then you move one two three put your single crochet and then you land in the 
space again so on top of here we will start counting your cluster stitches so we have two we have three chain one then three more And one, two, three, we put a single crochet and then you land in the space space but on top again and you put another cluster. Remember the chain after you put three double crochet, you chain one, then three more in the same same space. So continue working until the end of the round. We have approached the end of the round. So we are going to finish it by putting and a put, uh, sorry, a half double, sorry, sorry, a single crochet. Then from there we start putting, sorry, sorry, we put a, a slip stitch, then we start putting single crochet in every space except where we have the chain where we have the chain we will put three single crochet in the same space then we proceed putting single crochet as soon in the video Once we get to where we have the chain, remember to put three single crochet together. And then don't skip this area here. This is stitch, put a single crochet, then move on. We are doing the finishing of our dress, so this is how we are doing it. Check the finishing, move on and finish the round. Okay, we have finished the finishing down here at the end of the round. I've also done the finishing of one arm of the dress. So we will turn to the other arm and do the same finishing. So what you can do is do not touch the hand paste. Just come down here and put your uh, double crochet. Sorry, you put a uh, your chain. You pull through the chain. The slip knot. I've already made a nice slip knot here. So just pull through. Reduces to size, you pull through, then you chain one, chain one, and after that, you just go direct to this space here, and you put six in double crochet in the same, same space, two, three, four, six after six you skip one two three four you in the fourth you put fourth stitch you put a single crochet and skip to the space and you put six and double crochet together just like you are doing when you are doing the finishing of the dress. So we have four, five, 
six. Then skip one, two, three, the fourth one, you put single crochet and skip again to the space and put the cluster. One, two, three. Four, five, six, six, and then you skip one, two, three, you put the single crochet and continue working until the end of the round. We have finished the round. So we are going to cut the yarn and because we are not touching the part of the hand paste to make it too thick for the baby. So this is what we have. Uh, let me show you what I've done. So I've done the finishing of the hand. You can see how it has, how it has uh, come out. And we are not dealing touching this area so we will just uh, hide the tail this is where we have ended our work we are not touching under the hand piece no more handy shells so we just cut the tail we also move the other side and pull our yarn and then cut the tail So the, we are now going to do the finishing of the neck. This is the, ne the area of the neck. We just make a slip knot. Then we come here. And they put as soon in the window, you pull through, then chain one, and they put another single crochet, and continue putting single crochet in every stitch, every stitch without skipping any until. You climb, you come at the top here. So we continue. The secret here is don't skip this area. This is a stitch. You have to put a single crochet and then move on. So you can see what we are getting. Continue putting. A single crochet until we meet here okay we've arrived at the corner here so we are going to make two uh, single crochet in this space make it two and then you move on making single crochet in every space every space make a single crochet and move on until we meet here. So we have arrived towards the end of the round. So what we are going to do is we are going to put a single crochet here. Then we join our work with a slip stitch and the chain one. After chaining one, we start move putting and the, and the correction back one where we put a single crochet back one. Check what I'm doing and move with me. On every stitch you put a, a single crochet. That we are moving back one. Just move slowly. It is just one round.
this is what we are getting so continue moving and finish the round we varied the end of the round so this the last stitch we are not going to do it in back one we will just turn and put a single single crochet then repeat the same process as on a slip stitch chain one and the cut the yarn cut the yarn pull through let's see what we have this is how our work looks like after that round so what we are going to do is we are going to make a list for this area so you can go ahead and make a list of 100 chains okay we are going to use this hook or this pin as a hook to insert the list i've already made one 120 you can make even 150 depending on what you want and then you come here and insert sorry look for the first stitch which is here insert your your your, your pin You can't go low be, be below this because if you do that the dress will hang at the neck so you have to make sure that you have started from the top the first top here then you leave that uh, tail there you come down here and insert your yarn so sorry you are lazy. so when it is that way you start now moving or inserting on opposite directions. Go to the next row, just move, then the opposite because they are they are equal in size, just move, continue moving and see what we are getting so continue until we meet on top here and make sure you don't skip any because if you skip it won't balance okay i've completed the work and this is how the lace will behave it will play the role of the buttons so it is just a matter of getting out the hook and make sure that you are safe when using it or when if you are dealing with the learners make sure that they don't use it or abuse it because it can be fatal and dangerous to them especially when it comes to the area of the eyes so make sure you deal with your learners in a safety way so this is our address we have already completed the list we are now going to make it uh, public so the, the you, you can go ahead and tie 